Got We're good. going to show you the simple. recipe for a simple biryani. So here we have the ingredients for the whole masala. In this plate we have cumin, about one tablespoon, uh, black pepper, about 15 to 20, star and sea seed, three cloves, um, 10 to 12, black cardamom, three, nutmeg flour, two, um, green cardamom, five to, ten. five to ten, and cinnamon, about two sticks. Next, we have the black cumin, about one t teaspoon, and then we have the coriander powder, one and a half teaspoon, and then we have the biryani masala powder, it's about three teaspoons, and we have four plums, four dried plums, and then we have one cup of yogurt, two tablespoons of ginger, and two tablespoons of garlic in a paste, one cup of fried onions, two cup oil, and two cups rice uh, already soaked in water for half an hour, and um, one pound of chicken cut into pieces, washed and cut into pieces. Now we will show you how to cook. After putting two cups of oil, you can add all the whole masalas. Wait for them to cook a little bit, to sizzle a little bit. You can see it's sizzling. Now you can start adding the chicken. Cook it on high heat and stir constantly. Until the chicken starts to change color. And you can see it turning from pink to white. So now add the ginger garlic paste. All of it. So that was two tablespoons ginger, two tablespoons garlic, and fry it along with the chicken. Now you can add the dry chili powder and the crushed chili powder. 
one teaspoon of each, and the coriander, one and a half teaspoon. Uh, fried onions, one cup. And now fry all of it together. Changes the color. Now add one cup of yogurt. And then some food coloring, a pinch of food coloring, two, two pinches of food coloring. Mix it with water. Mix the food coloring with water. And add it. About one um, teaspoon of salt. Now three and a half teaspoons of dry biryani powder and four dried plums. Let it cook so that until the chicken becomes tender, add some more water and cook until the chicken becomes tender. Cover and cook. On the other stove, we have a pot of water water and one teaspoon, two teaspoons of salt and black cumin, one teaspoon of black cumin. Let them boil. Let it come to a boil, cover it and let it come to a boil. This side we will make rice boil, mm -hmm. boil the rice. And on this side we, we will boil the rice. And this is the chicken that we are um, cooking right now. We have to make sure it becomes all tender. So we cook it about covered on high heat for 10 minutes. 
it has started to boil. Can I put the rice inside it? We can put the rice now. The rice that was soaked in water. So put the rice in the boiled water. And let it boil for 10 minutes. Let it boil for 10 minutes. On the other side, we have separated the chicken from the masala and we're cooking the masala by itself. Because if we leave the chicken in there, it will become too tender and it's going, it will start to fall apart or break apart. So we're cooking the masala by itself to, to make the gravy thicker and to evaporate the water and thicken the gravy. Now it is done. This is the consistency that it should be. Here is the chicken that we have separated. And then uh, we will come back after the rice has boiled for 10 minutes. Now the rice is three fourths done. Now we lock up. Turn the oven off. Turn the stove off, and we will drain out the water from the rice. Drain the rice. Now we have drained the rice. And on the other side, this is the masala. We're taking some masala. Some masala out into a separate bowl because we're going to layer it. So we're going to add the chicken back in to some pieces of chicken. Some of the chicken, half of the chicken, into half of the gravy. And then add the rice, which is about three fourths done. Layer it evenly. Now the tomatoes, nice. uh, about two tomatoes, like cut place. into slices and layer it over the rice. Now this is dried mint. Here's the rest of the chicken pieces. Now we can add the gravy. Now add all the rice, the rest of the rice.
now we can add the biryani essence. So we have about a teaspoon. on medium to low heat for about 15 minutes and then we'll be back. It's been cooking for about 15 minutes and it's done. Um, we have added another layer of tomatoes and mint and the way you can see that it's done is that the rice should be completely cooked because when we added the rice it was three-fourths cooked now it should be completely cooked now you can mix it okay. nice it's done yes now it is done now the biryani is completely cooked and we are dishing it out it is a simple biryani. It's a, a simple biryani and it's ready to serve.